Welcome. I want to introduce a new data feed we have integrated into the Wento Trade charting platform. Um, a crypto data feed which allows to real-time charting of almost all cryptocurrency available. So by just logging in, selecting the uh, crypto data stream, um, choosing your base symbol and the exchange, just log in and now you will be able to do real-time real -time charting, charting with them. Cryptocurrencies, for example, if you want to chart the Bitcoin, um, just uh, select the chart of your choice. This is the five minute Bitcoin chart. Set it up and the history now will be loaded out of the cloud. And best of all, as it is a real time data feed, you see it's updating in real time. So you have the chance now to plot real time chart, follow the Bitcoin currency or other um, cryptocurrencies and now do charting with cryptocurrency data feed. So you see it's updating here. Um, you can for sure open other chart like uh, like an hour chart. Um, so uh, you have now two charts on the screen. Um, they are updating in parallel here down below. We have a one hour chart for the cryptocurrency. Um, and the upper chart is a five minute chart. So um, you can now do cycle analysis uh, and do real time charting against pricing now updating in real time. So this is the feature I wanted to introduce. Just update to the latest version and you will be able to use the data feed for free. Uh, it's a free of charge data feed, which is available on the internet. Um, in addition to that, let's just check the current hype around Bitcoin and the price we had this year. Therefore, let's use a daily chart and I want to set up our cycle tools to see if our cycle tools would have been of help um, during the latest quiet up move. We see here a parabolic up move in Bitcoin. So um, we had the first hype here at the end of 2013. Then we had this uh, plateau here coming into 2015 and then starting this parabolic up move here. So let's see how if our cycles could help here. We will use the uh, dynamic cycle explorer with the midterm range here. Um, the cycles will be detected automatically. And let's start the cycle analysis here um, somewhere at the bottom in uh, mid-April 2015. So what we see now here on the chart is the automatically detected cycle by the Dynamic Cycle Explorer. Let's now zoom in to make it more clear as we want to analyze the current year or the current period in review. So um, therefore, let's now see if in the year of 2017, if cycles could have been of help for us in this uh, yeah, parabolic up move here, starting at the level of 1000 US dollar um, at the end of March, April here. So therefore, let's go back in time. We will go to, uh, to the, uh, let's say somewhere to uh, mid April, where the Bitcoin chart reached uh, 1,200 US dollar. And the key question here would be, is this the high again? And would Bitcoin drop again? Or would this be a place to move up again? You see here down below exactly the cycle that have been detected at this point in time. This would have been the same cycle if you have done this in real time, as this is a dynamic cycle explorer and the parameters have not been adjusted here. So um, if we see now here the period in mid-April where we reached again the uh, uh, all-time high at $1,000, the cycles would suggest um, to reach a, the next high here into the period of uh, yeah, May to June, then drop into the period of yeah, beginning of July and June, beginning of July, and then have a next up move into uh, the period of August here. So this is a this is the cycle forecast, which would we have been seen here in April. Let's just uh, mark it on the chart. So um, projected high somewhere here in um, yeah end May June. This is the projected high. Then we have the low projection here uh, somewhere in. Uh, 
beginning of July this way and then the um, next tile would be then show up somewhere here in August so this is just I would just mark it on the chart as the cycles here now down down below will ad adjust dynamically so that we have the fixed forecast here from the period of um, mid-April the cycle length currently detected has a length of 85 days and now let's progress in time to see how the cycle would update as new bars are coming and you see this by the blue dot here now moving on the projected cycle and now here is the Bitcoin price now updating day by day. You see we are progressing here on our projected dynamic cycle. The cycle length seems to be stable at the length of 84 bars. Um, let's see what price is doing. Price is now moving up. You see the cycles adjust here slightly. The length now has been uh, shifted to 82 bars. Um, and you see that the phase has also been slightly adjusted here. Um, this is the dynamic behavior. However, you see that the next projected high here is just moving more to the left, but still valid against the static forecast here. Now we see that the cycles move up. Um, we arrive now here at the projected um, cycle top here at a price of 2,700 US dollar here in the mid of May maybe the, the static period we have already seen here. So um, by arriving here at the top, you see that the top is still in place. So we are in the topping period here, exactly in the projected time window. Now we have a cycle length of 83. And now the uh, cycle starts to turn down. So if we have reached the dynamic cycle top here, by a price of now 2,200 um, US dollar here. So the next expected turn is to be a downturn somewhere into the beginning of July. So, and it's still the same forecast we did just in the uh, mid of April here. So let's see now if um, cycles would somehow uh, move down from here into the period of end of June. So let's progress now in time. We see that cycles is coming down or staying around these um, values here, coming back up again. Um, the cycles, however, stay the same. So we would we should see a down move here now as the dynamic do dominant cycle now starts to turn down. Um, the cycle is shifting here. Um, yeah, you see. Um, the price is hovering around this level here, not going up, not really going down much. So now let's see if we come into the uh, period in the um, yeah mid mid or beginning of July. So the cycle is still pointing downwards. So here um, we see that it's not going over this level here so we seems that we are in a strong up move here so that this downward cycle now uh, will block the price more going up here instead of pushing it really down but now you see that uh, the updated cycle here maybe it's a little bit late in time but our downward projection is still valid by the drop here now into the uh, mid of July which is now the updated cycle length here um, still in the same window we have seen already mid of April here. So now we have this real down move here. So it seems like we are now coming into the cycle bottoming area. So now price shoots up again. So let's move forward. However, not going, going over this point in time here. So yeah, we will see now what happens next. So now we arrive at the cycle bottoming period here and the price now already starts to move up here. So this downward period um, was hard to trade. It was a downward move but very volatile but however um, this downward cycle here blocked the, 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 the Bitcoin price even to go up more. So the important point to watch now is there's now as we arrive at the dynamic cycle low here the cycle now would project by the end of July next 
beginning up move here. As you know, we are in a strong yeah upturn here in um, in, in in Bitcoin again since <clears throat> yeah 2016 here. So it's a strong upturn. Let's see what happens to the price if the dynamic cycle now reaches the low and the next upward push will follow now by the cycle. So we have been at a price now at 2,700 US dollars. Most call this a real hype and would not expect to go at even higher here. So however, now the important point at the beginning of August, our cycles tell us that we should expect another up move here. So you see now we arrive at the current real low here. Now the cycle really turns to go now into the upward period here. We have not changed anything on the indicator. You see now we have a different cycle length here from 85 now stretched to 100 bars. So um, now the cycle suggests now we should expect another up move into the next period here. Um, and we, what we observed here now is a real, yeah, a strong up move into uh, the, the beginning of uh, or the mid-August and August period are uh, reaching now a price about 3,700 US dollar. So this is just showing you that um, by following these cycles, um, um, it would have been a clear view that we have seen these uh, main moves.